Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome back. We are getting ready to watch some more Ozark. It's been a long week. Work was super busy. The tree has fallen over twice. Uh, the first time it really fell over. Uh, the second time I didn't realize it had fallen over because it was leaning on the windows. Um, so I didn't realize it was still, it, it had fallen. The stand is one of those metal crossbars that swings so you can fold it up and then the feet swing back out to stand. And the first time it was the cats pulling it over. The second time, I think it was trying to fix the skirt because I actually have a green and red. You can kind of see it skirt on the tree. And I think the cats scruffed it up. And when they did, they moved the feet on the tree. So hence why there's no ornaments. And I just put the lights on, which is why I'm sweating. Uh, <laughs> I didn't check the lights before putting it on. So two halves that's it, two strands but half of one strand and half of the other strand uh, apparently has a bulb at least out and so that's why they're not working I don't feel like messing with it and figuring out which bulb especially since I've already got it on the tree we're just experimenting this year anyhow to see how long the tree lasts the angel was straightened back out because it was all cockeyed <laughs> Uh, the angel is the only decoration other than the lights, so we shall see. But um, we're going to watch some more Ozark. We're on season two, episode six, I believe. Yes, episode six. It's called Outer Darkness, and I'm... I'm wondering if that darkness is going to focus on Ruthie because she just got tortured by the Mexican cartel. You're driving me nuts. Just stay. She has to be in front of me. Has to have the attention. She just got tortured by them. Waterboarding um, at the very least. We know there was probably some other stuff they did to torture her. And she looked rattled and hurting and all sorts of things as she was leaving the trailer they took her into and Cade was taking her. I don't know if it was to her trailer or his. I can't keep that straight. But there's probably going to be retaliation from Cade. Ruthie, I, I don't know which way she's going to sway now that she's had a taste of the cartel. Marty's already had a taste of the cartel and he's tried to warn her what they're like. So don't know. Will he try to persuade her to just stay out of the business so that she doesn't get hurt anymore? Um, Cause I know he felt bad about it. Will he encourage her to stay? Cause that will look better in the eyes of the cartel than if she leaves their partnership, you know, who knows? And it is a lopsided partnership. Sweat. <laughs> Just sweat. It is a lopsided partnership. So, <clears throat> yeah. But I, I want to see her reaction. I have a feeling this is what this episode is about. And the darkness, outer darkness, being the cartel. Of course, the snails can be pretty ruthless as well and their fields just got burned and they're going to know it was windy because she was distracting while buddy burned them down and what a quinky dink for wendy to be there talking to darlene as the fields are burning so i mean they're not stupid they're going to know that wendy was behind it so we're gonna to have to see what kind of retaliation is there lots of tension all right, here we go. I hear some cars. Oh, that's Wendy speeding away. <laughs> Buddy's laughing. So he survived. She's worried, and she should be. She's worried about the retaliation. Buddy, you all right? Another heart attack. We haven't seen much about the Kansas City mobsters. 
gonna get the hell out of there. Yes. He knows how dangerous it is. Mullum Bimby. Oh, don't make me laugh. <laughs> Have you been there? No. Are we losing, buddy? Sounds like anything's possible. And then I remembered this spot nearby, kind of like a hideout. Buddy's dead, isn't he? Of course. <laughs> He's dead. Buddy? Go straight to the hospital. At least he went out with a bang. Here we go. So we've got some DNA. We've got a rescue dog. Could be a therapy dog, but uh, with the cross on there, it looks like rescue maybe. Um, we've got a pickaxe, an ice pick axe, something like that. And some bones in a particular shape. I don't think we've seen any of those yet. That one's more coded than I'm you than I can guess at, so who knows what's gonna happen. Ruth. Avoiding everybody. She's gonna come out like a raging bull. Suit yourself. Oh, okay. She's just not gonna go out. Did she take her clothes off? We kinda missed that part. And the torture hit her hard. When did she get the crack in her windshield? I know. Go home, Charlie. Um. Marty's gonna say, please tell me what you were doing. I'm gonna go try to get in front of this. Marty better hope they don't kill him. So the dog well, in the picture is probably a seen, carnivorous dog. Property. Um. Well, anything the you can tell me about the fire out here last night? Searches for people who've died. That was a prescribed burn in one of our fields. A prescribed burn? Mm -hmm. If you farmed, you'd know. Oh, he's covering it up. In the middle of the night. You're late. And if I find out you're skipping class, I will hunt you down, tie you to the back of the beast, and drag you there myself. All right. There's the raging bull. Get three. And you strike back when they least expect it. Don't strike back, Cade. She's about had it with him. <laughs> she knows he doesn't care about her, just what she can do for him. So where did they bury Del Rio? Copy that. Uh-oh. He's got a smile on that face. So I wonder if the DNA is they do find a body and they're trying to identify the body through the DNA. Asshole. Prick. <laughs> Patty doesn't have any say over who sees them. They, the Snells are the ones that make the choice on whether they want to talk to him or not. Poppy bud. Hey, I think we got something. Oh, Del Rio. You know, you, you got a real way of complimenting me and walking it back in the same breath. You know that? A backhanded compliment. I'm wondering if she's doing that because it's a way to spend more money to cover up. Or if it's more guilt. Who's watching? Is that Jonah? Why are we getting parallels of Marty and Noah? I guess showing them both grieving in their own way. Oh, he has children. Or grandchildren. Getting into his Rolodex? What are we going to find in there? Looks like you lost a lot of weight. I think you know exactly what you're involved in. Do I? If we're going to have any kind of relationship, you need to start being 100% honest with me. Just put it in the safe. I got other shit I have to deal with. A little contentious. Okay, there's the bones. Well, they stripped it down pretty good, but I think you can still get DNA out of the marrow if any of the bones have marrow in them. Plus, if they can find all the pieces, they can get an idea of a profile, like height and all that, male or female. Call my lawyer. I already did. I want to hear you say it. Oh, it could be Ash also. Not supposed to cuff in the front. They can still choke you out. 
Oh, look at that. Used if looks could now. kill. I think the bones are ash, which is why she doesn't want to talk about it. You are just a noisemaker today. We don't want to jump to any conclusions. They're, they're in the initial oh, I forgot that it could be her. Lines. And you can sample his DNA for Grace. You can do that, right? Yeah. Um, There's the DNA medical. strand. You don't really have a plan for what to do about those bones, do you? Do you? Uh, not yet. I've got to find a way to try to destroy him. I have to talk to Jacob. What? Is that what the pickaxe is uh, for? Destroying the bones? I'm right. You know I'm right. She's right. Okay. Let's see. So this is Wilkes. My client and the birds have no official business ties. Hi, Jim. Unless I talk about Marty Bird. Mm -hmm. He's not going to talk. Are you sure you want to be filming this? I am. Fair enough. September. The man described as looking very much like you fired a handgun inside a bar called the Rusty Hall. Silly name. Ah, they did their the Rusty Hall, but, um, so something op. I forget what. Research op. Yep, that was a gotcha. And Wendy Bird gets protection. Protecting Wendy. <laughs> Jim's rolling his eyes. It's a possible way out of here. Tell me where your ancestors are buried. Family graves. Uh oh. Mason. He thinks you're the devil. Save yourself. Save your son. Don't come back to the lake. She tried. You know those pills you had? Uh-oh. I have a couple. Does it have anything to do with why you're not at work? A little. Still comes in here. Sometimes. She's going to get payback. I'm going to show her the bruises. I couldn't read the title. Ah, uh, when it comes to negotiating, UAW veteran Jimmy Small is the difference. So is that his journal or something? Hey. Thank you, Wyatt. Oh, Don't mess with a line more, right? Is that Marty? He's gonna go looking for the Snell's ancestors. If you get kicked out, that means no Mizzou. You know that, right? I know. Please, can you just, Dad, just let it be? You have to fix Marty's it. gonna go fix I'll it. I'll the rules. Come on. What am Come I on, Marty. Come on. Marty, Stay you're gonna lose her loyalty. Losing her loyalty. Are they gonna be proud of how ingenuitive? He this is? is Mike Fleming. I think I made up that word. Okay, go to your rooms, both of you, now. You uh, gotta admire them, Wendy. I mean, you wanna know why Jonah is laundering money? Because he wants to prove to you that he's useful so that you have to pay some attention to him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? She's not exactly what? wrong. Communication has never been their strong suit. This ground is fucking half frozen. <sighs> It shouldn't be frozen that far down. Found a casket. So the pickaxe was for digging. You lied to me. Okay, it's not a good time, Charles. What did she lie about now? I thought she's being honest with him. Or is he just trying to get stuff for Petty? So you can be my knight in shining armor? No, this isn't about me. She's not going to leave casino. Marty. She might be mad at him, but she's not going to leave him. I'll push the casino through. Was he miked? 
Strange gay guy's $40 motel room whining like a grade school brat who just flunked her test. Those are the days for the $40 motel rooms. The rooms where you gotta keep your shoes on because the floor's sticky. The next time Ruth comes looking for drugs. She can just call the FBI and ask for whoever his supervisor is. Buddy's funeral. Where's Petty? Oh, DNA. Did Noah get all these people for, together for him? Or is it just from the announcement in the paper? Oh, is that the Kansas City mobsters? Kansas City mob? Yeah. I'm guessing they switched out the bones. We have a positive DNA match. To tell them of the funeral. We know those are okay. Yeah, no, good idea. Thank you. All right, so we know what to use the Rolodex for. for. Yeah, uh, give us one second, Julie. Unless that's a cover. Uh, but if there's any way that we can delay paying them until after the work actually gets done or started. Uh... Not going to happen. In Jimmy's memory. I'll see what I can do. Must have been just an old family burial plot. Gotta let him go. No, don't touch him. Don't, don't touch him. That's not going to go well. See, I, didn't know what I wonder if somebody else well. was behind that. We're going to get any like surprises. Things. Oh, Noah. What's Noah going to say? Also, he was one of the best negotiators that the United Auto Workers up in Detroit ever had. And ah, that's what UAW stands for. I me to pass along messages to you. You know to ask you things and you know to listen. This is good closure for him. Can't I'm stand watching charges. people cry. Pardon me. Do what? Oh, come on. Petty's I'm losing his call. I mean, Melissa. <laughs> No, you certainly wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this divide between the two of them doesn't drive Wendy over to Chris. I'm going to send it off. Kind of a Viking torch ceremony. Viking funeral ceremony. You think I hide my emotions? Yep. All right. I'm going to clean up. Listen. He opened up a little bit. That's good. You can do whatever you want with it and sell it. Keep it. You she can't believe he's doing that for her. Uh-oh. We knew this was coming, though. Uh, is she going to tell him about the mic? Sorry. He realizes his mistake. So he said the wrong thing about nobody will ever know what she did for him while she was miked and she got to kiss him. Boy, that window is bright, isn't it? Looks like I've got a searchlight out there. You can't tell the windows are tinted, can you? <laughs> A lot happened. We lost Buddy, which we knew was going to happen, but I liked him. I didn't want to lose him. Are all the secrets out? I don't think all of the secrets are out, but a good part of them are. Snails are out of jail. Mason is going to jail. Marty and Wendy are dividing. As best as they try to stay together, they're dividing. And Marty did kiss her, and so it leads me to think that because of this divide, Wendy's going to end up with Chris. Let's see, we got the bones, we got the corpse dog, not rescue dog. We got the DNA, and we got the, what was the other thing? Oh, the pickaxe, uh, which was for the digging. So I actually remembered all of the symbols, and we caught on to what all the symbols were this time. So that's good. Petty is losing his cool. We don't know. We don't know what Chris told Petty 
other than he wants to protect Wendy. But Petty doesn't look happy about anything. So I don't think Chris told him anything yet. But let's see. what If Petty overheard what Marty said, which he was probably recording it, even if he wasn't listening live, there's still not really enough for Petty to do anything against Marty. So we'll have to see how it plays out. But because they've arrested for less. <laughs> so. I still don't think there's enough for him to do anything with Marty, though. This young lady has been very demanding today. And she thinks staring me down is going to win her points. All right, y'all. I'm going to watch the next episode. Thank you for joining me on this one. Sorry, the back window is so bright. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it. It's not that bright outside. It really isn't. So it's just the angle of the, the sun, apparently. The neighbors have their hammock up. I don't know why they have it up. It's cold. Yeah, I don't know why it's so bright on that back window. But um, it's going to be bright for the next episode, too. I apologize. Thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.